Hey guys. I'm Blake here today. Willie's Landing Resort and Marina. It's the 19th of June. And I'm gonna do the one cast for you today. I'm gonna throw a jig. I don't have a lot of time here. I don't have time to put stuff together. So that is a 332nd ounce, I think. A uh, brown jig with an orange head. Wow, we are moving through here quick. I, they said they weren't supposed to turn on four units until another hour from now. But I would say that, that is what we're looking at at the moment here. I uh, started just a little bit below the rock bank on trophy run here. stuff going on on the lake today I have too many boat rentals and Captain Dwayne Captain Blake Harris were both out this morning and said the jig bite was actually the best and the water was off up till this point today but um, I said the jig bite was the best just jigging you know. 132nd ounce jig. Oh, that felt good. Nothing though. This uh, left side's got a lot of little swirling pockets and stuff, cut ins in the bank, so. Figured I'd just try to slow the boat down and work a few of these down through here. Water looking a little, little dirty coming out of Table Rock right now. here in that spot on the trophy run bank where that big rock eddy comes out and creates this big eddy pocket right here and I find that there are usually fish right here in that transition between that eddy and this faster water I totally just had one on right there Still been seeing a number of boats, kind of that spot I did yesterday's one cast. Just there along the bluff. And there was one that sat there for the last, it's probably sat in that same spot for the last five hours. And 
Every time I looked over there, they were reeling in a fish. Still hearing about a lot of the new stalker browns being caught. Dwayne said they had over eight browns just on his boat alone this morning. Blake Harris said they had quite a few too. If I'd had the time to set up some rods for drifting, I would have done it. Because with this four units running, drifting the eggs and skeds is probably one of your best bets. We're even dragging a jerk bait after the water gets cleared up a little bit. There's quite a bit of moss moving through the lake at the moment. Okay. Well, you see, my whole plan was I grabbed this box of 16th and 332nd ounce jigs because they were only supposed to be running like one or two units. So, my jig probably is not heavy enough for how fast this water is moving. So, to answer that problem, we are going to just try fishing in the eddy here behind the island. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, so we are just setting in the eddy behind Lookout Island now. Going to attempt to see since I didn't bring any 8 ounce jigs, if we can find a fish back here in this slower water. Might have been a fish. There's a uh, brand new tree down over here, right on the top side of Point Royale's property. I mean, it might have just fell in today. This isn't working out too great for me either. And the eddy is a place if you don't have heavy enough gear to come to to fish. Generally when the water gets moving at four units, they will set in the eddies for a break. Not a bad bet, but maybe they just don't want brown with an orange head. Well, I'm probably not going to stick at this too much longer. We'll try fishing our way around, around down to the Andy Williams Eddy and that's it.
Okay. I'm calling it. This is my last cast right here. That's it. That's uh, not a good day for a bite for me, but we thank you guys for watching. Like and share us on Facebook. Maybe Phil's doing better up on Table Rock. He's crappie fishing right now. But we will see you guys again tomorrow.